But first at six, from the ABC 15 investigators, Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell under oath outlining why she fired the prosecutor who worked with police to charge protesters as gang members. All happened today in the state bar case against April Sponsel. Sponsel is fighting to keep her law license. ABC 15's politically charged investigation is what started all this, and our cameras were there today to capture the county attorney taking the stand. Mitchell testified for an hour and a half, revealing new details about one of the biggest scandals in the history of Arizona law enforcement. Here's ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscabing. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. Please have a seat. Rachel Mitchell wasn't the county attorney in 2020 when April Sponsel worked with police to invent a gang and falsely charge protesters as members. But when Mitchell was appointed to take over MCAO in 2022, she's the one who fired Sponsel. There were several instances where she was being told you don't have the evidence. The, the camera, the body cams don't match what you've charged these people with. I mean, frankly, if a defense attorney said that to me, hey, Rachel, you need to go review this body cam because you've charged my guy with something he didn't do. Um, I mean, that's a run, don't walk to your nearest computer monitor and, and review it. And that didn't happen. And, and, and also the, the grand jury presentations. Um, specifically the one related to the October protest was outrageous. She means this protest on October 17th, 2020. In our investigation, we obtained the secret grand jury testimony showing many claims by Sponsel and Phoenix police about this group were complete lies. Maybe the biggest? Sponsel and a sergeant said they were a gang and compared them to the Bloods, Crips, and Hells Angels. Mitchell said she never directly supervised Sponsel during her career at MCAO or had a role in her protest cases. But before she became county attorney and after the scandal erupted, Mitchell was assigned to review another one of Sponsel's protest prosecutions. That one happened on August 9, 2020, and involved the arrest of well-known activist Bruce Franks Jr. Our reports proved officials lied in that case, too. Did you review the grand jury testimony? Yes. Did that present any concerns? Yes. What concerns were presented? Well, um, it, it was inaccurate. Sponsel's attorneys tried to ask Mitchell about whether she knew that Sponsel's direct supervisors approved of her plan in the protest cases, but Mitchell denied having any direct knowledge. Those supervisors, Sherry LaCrone and Vince Goddard, both resigned in the fallout of our reporting. Mitchell also testified the whole protest scandal prompted a major policy change within MCAO. Should a prosecutor do more than just re read the police report and charge base there on that? At the time, we didn't have the policy that we have now. The policy that we have now is that, um, with, with some exceptions, if a crime occurs on a body cam, that that should be viewed, if at all possible, prior to charging. That was not the policy at the time. Um, we changed it, actually, because of this situation. I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona. Our ABC 15 investigators are committed to holding the powerful accountable. You can find their award-winning investigation streaming now on our ABC 15 apps.